Hi, my name is Alan. I'm the Chief UX Designer at Toby Tech. I wanted to talk to you about the MSI GT782 gaming laptop that comes with a built-in eye tracker by Toby. At Toby, we believe that eye tracking will lead to a more humanized interaction with computers. And the GT782 is the world's first laptop that comes with integrated eye tracking. So what does this mean? Well, two things. First, it gives you the immersive gaming experiences that comes with eye tracking. Second, the device itself provides a more natural user experience when you interact with it. So, let's get started. So before you use the eye tracking for the first time, you need to do a one-time calibration. You can do that by clicking the Toby icon in the tray panel. It will start up the calibration for you. You can see your eyes and you can move around. And now you just look at the different dots to make them explode. And that's it. All right, once you've started the game, you just go into the menus and find the Toby IX settings. Make sure they're on. And then once you're back in the game, it will follow wherever you look. So it will rotate the camera angle. So if you look to the right, it's gonna turn to the right. If you look, look to the left, it's gonna rotate towards the left. Now all you need to do is to Walk straight ahead and look where you want to go, and it's going to follow where you are. When it comes to interacting with the device itself, we're finding the sweet spots where eye tracking can contribute to a more natural and human experience. For example, if you use the touchpad to scroll as you usually would, it will actually scroll in the context that you're looking at. So if I look on the region on the right side, it will scroll there. If I look on the left side, it will scroll there. Right side, left side, right side, left side. Another feature is that the computer senses if I'm there or not. So if I step away from the screen, it's going to dim automatically. And as I get back to the computer, it's going to automatically sense that I'm there and undim again. To adjust the dim settings and other settings, just click the tray icon and select settings. And in here, you can just adjust the timings and all of the other settings. I hope you enjoyed this video. There will be a lot more game titles coming out during 2016. Thank you for watching.